every lizard biologist remembers their first. That is, the first lizard they ever studied. The lizard that took Nate's innocence was a strange Costa Rican species called the river anole. Nate and I both got our PhDs studying lizards. And over the last 10 years, we've become collaborators, business partners, and best friends. Through all of that, Nate has not shut up about that river at all. So we're starting our journey in Nate's old stomping grounds in the mountains of Costa Rica to find the lizard that was so interesting, it convinced Nate to become a biologist. If you get a chance to see the river knoll, the first thing that it'll do is sort of move to the other side of the rock or the branch that it's on. If it thinks that you're a real threat, it'll do something amazing. Sometimes, river knolls reappear downstream after just a few seconds. It's hard to predict exactly where they'll pop up. Other times, they just seem to vanish. What are they doing when they disappear? Almost as soon as we got our camera under the water, we were documenting a behavior that's essentially unknown to science. One female clung to a rock underwater for almost 10 minutes. We figured she must be holding her breath. But when we watched our footage, we saw something that blew us away. Look carefully and you can see a little air bubble growing and shrinking on her head. It looks like she's rebreathing her air, like a deep sea diver recycling her oxygen supply. Researchers at the University of Toronto are now trying to understand this rebreathing behavior. The first law of the lizard? Expect surprises. <laughs> 